So here's round two of my uh, lightweight structures that I print in uh, 3D. Um, and I wanted to show you three different designs. That's the very first one here in Tinkercad. Uh, you see a red box and I subtract um, different triangles here uh, so that I get um, a lightweight structure at least on the sides. And um, when we use this one here to um, actually cut the holes, uh, then you see <coughs> that you can look into the uh, architecture here, so to speak. Um, and what I learned from printing is that the problem is um, that uh, you don't give uh, this structure building process enough of a surface uh, so that the print is actually turning out very well. So what you see here in reality is that it works quite well um, except for uh, the roof and um, the bottom. The bottom is even worse. Um, we can look at that uh, later on um, because simply the printer doesn't have uh, any supports to print on and so it, you can actually squash this quite a bit. Uh, which is not very good if you think about uh, using this structure in robotics. So that's um, my first print, of course. Um, then the second design was uh, going around uh, circles so that we have more of them that we can fit in the structure. Um, and the idea was simply to have many of these uh, as to maximize the surface so that the voronization actually can really um, work through the 3D structure and give um, more strings in the 3D space instead of just the 2D space or the surface of um, the cube. And so if you look at this, then it looks um, much better uh, in terms of uh, how much surface it can generate here um, because uh, there is quite a lot for the printer to grasp. Um, however, I saw that uh, these small holes here uh, don't work very well. Uh, here you also see some problems, but uh, with the voronization you don't actually really care about that because the structure that is resulting is uh, much uh, rougher. So when you look at the 3D here, then you don't even see the holes here that we have here. Um, and so in reality, uh, you don't even see these holes um, from that perspective. There is nothing to see because the rest of the 3D structure uh, has the same size of the holes. So, uh, but still, uh, the printer was able to print this very well uh, in my eyes. Um, that is uh, really rigid um, and works quite well. Also with the roundings, you don't need any supports. Um, so that's, I think, uh, pretty cool. Um, so I refined that design in my third iteration, which is not too far away from the other one. Uh, what you see is that um, I reduced the size of these here um, so that basically this is uh, huge at the moment and these are three different sizes whereas now we have just two sizes these are smaller so that the difference here uh, is a bit bigger uh, we get more structure uh, for the voronization and also uh, here the distance uh, to the edges is uh, stronger so that you get more and more uh, structure here um, when you print it. And I think that's uh, pretty much a refined design uh, and my feeling is that this even feels better when you actually print it. Um, although it's a bit more boring, at least in this clean uh, 3D view when you look at it here then uh, actually it looks pretty organic so you don't actually see uh, the holes most of the time except for really looking into them um, which is uh, the same thing in reality 
So in reality, you see them exactly when you uh, place them in front of the camera, a square to it. Here it's the same, right? Um, but the rest is pretty organic for my taste. And I'm pretty happy with this. Um, also, it's, it's quite rigid uh, when you look at it. Um, and uh, when you look at the different weights, um, then I've prepared a weight here. Then you see that this is around five to six grams, right? That's the latest iteration. And the first iterations uh, is more about five grams, so we have one gram more. Uh, the middle one is also five grams, so that's pretty cool. And actually, um, what I do is I will uh, stress test this. So when you look at this, then it's it's pretty, you know, uh, makes sounds and so on. So it's not really cool. This one is pretty sturdy. Um, I'm very happy with that. And this one is even better. And so uh, what we will do is we will try this guy here. That's one and a half kilos, right? And we will try whether this guy can actually withstand the power uh, or the weight of this, just because I want to be sure that um, it works and it seems to work. So that's pretty cool. I think uh, that's the final design for uh, the robotics here. And now I will combine the enclosing of the servo here um, in a more rigid fashion with this. Uh, somehow I will extend this design so that we have a servo housing and then we can start building robots with this.